a friendly reminder. Did you take your medicine this morning? Thanks to the fast action of his service dog, one local man saved himself a trip to the ER. Here to take his story, here to share his story rather, is a retired educator from Fairfield, Tom Griffin, and his service dog, Sterling. It's great to have you with us. It's nice to be here. All right, this is a fabulous story. First of all, look at Sterling. He is so well behaved, and he is playing, he has his toy right there. Is it Scarecrow? Sterling, give me your Scarecrow. Sterling? Give me your scarecrow. Where's your scarecrow? Come on. Get it? Get it? Oh. Right here. Come here. Oh, he's saying, Tom, oh, I like the floor so much better. <laughs> I know, I know. He's relaxing. All right, so what happened here? What was going on? Yeah, well, we go camping, and uh, it's one of the reasons I got Starling. Um, so when I'm going camping, uh, something happens, he's there. And it was in the uh, middle of the night, he all of a sudden. Um, he gets up and he brings me my BAG. This is where I keep all my blood glucose. We should tell everybody what it is that you have. What is your diagnosis? I'm, I'm a type 1 diabetic. Okay. I also have multiple sclerosis and yes. I'm a lung cancer survivor. Very so, good, very good. Um, so that's why he's a medical alert service dog. And uh, that night I had gone you were to bed. Camping. was camping, had gone to bed and was sleeping. And all of a sudden, by himself, he goes to get the BAJ. I don't want to say it because then it, it'll, it's a command. He, oh, it is a command. It okay, is a that's command. why you're spelling it. Right, that's why I'm spelling BAJ. And he brings me this bed and uh, brings me the, this, and he jumps on me and he. Were you wondering why he was doing that? Well, not yet, because I'm okay. kind of like not with it. And then he leaves the bedroom. I'm a glamper camper, and he goes out and he gets the J U I C E. Again, you have to spell it because That's it's a command. Because right, it's a command. Because all of a sudden he's opening up the refrigerator, and he's pulling this out of the refrigerator. He jumps on the bed. He drops this on me. Are you getting now, the hint yet? Well, now I'm kind of like saying, "What's going on?" Yes. And and so I'm now beginning to wake, and I pull out my. It, this I can say. This is my insulin pump. And you always have it with you. It's always, it's all connected to my body mm -hmm. with the insulin. And I'm like, I say, what's going on? It's not setting off an alarm because the alarms he would hear and he would respond. It broke. It malfunctioned. So somehow he knew that. Dogs have an excellent sense of smell and taste, and. We're convinced because I've had him now for two years. He was smelling the chemical change in my body, and because he's a liquor, he's a kisser. You know, he tastes, and I think he just knew something was wrong. So had and he what not? Was he, what we was trained for yeah. is to get the B A G, and the J U I C. -A. Had he not done that, Tom, what would have happened? Well, it, it could have been a, a diabetic type 1 can go into a DKA, which is where the blood sugar goes over 800, which could result in a diabetic coma. Or it could have sunk very low, which then you could also go into a diabetic coma, which could result in death. Which is why perhaps patients like other patients who have your diagnosis or other types of diagnosis right. should consider getting a service dog. Exactly, because they, they can be trained for so many different things. I mean, ECAD, Educated Canines Assisting with Disabilities, they've trained dogs for vets with PTSD. Mm -hmm. They've trained dogs for uh, children with various uh, autistic uh, disorders or under the autistic the scale. Spectrum. Mm -hmm. The spectrum. Um, in my case, it's neurological issues as well as my diabetes, so he can help with my gait and studying my balance. And so, you know, these, these service dogs are absolutely fantastic. A hero. You know. he, 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 he is my hero. hero. He is my hero. Tom, yeah. thanks so much for sharing your story. Thank I you know for a lot of people us. are touched by it and and uh, just so happy you guys were together. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes, it's it was it's uh, these an absolute blessing. So, thank you. Thank you.